What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday! What do we have here buddy? What's all over this table? We just went in that extra bedroom. We went in your room that has like all your fan mail and everything and we opened some boxes and we set up a bunch of new toys here. Look at this, even Koda's excited. Everybody take a moment and listen. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. We've got a very exciting episode this week so thank you guys for being here. We are going to be checking out the top 10 dog toys that we found on Amazon. So each of these toys has a fair number of reviews. I think the smallest we have is 70. You guys know like some things on Amazon will have like two reviews and five stars so we didn't count that stuff but most of these have multiple hundred if not thousands of reviews and I think the lowest rating we have is 4.4 stars. So we're gonna be going through here. This is the least like highly rated, moving all the way up to the most highly rated, and we're gonna get a review from both Cooper and Coda for every single one of these toys. Let's get started. Toy number one has okay. the utmost attention. What is this? It's like a pineapple chew, and it said it's for aggressive chewers, and it also cleans teeth, but it has like a, a super strong, it reminds me of like a soda bottle inside, but it's stronger than that. Okay. It only had 70 reviews that put it at 4.4 stars, and it is one of our more pricey items because it's $17.99. But, hey, $17.99 if it's gonna clean his teeth. Okay. Well worth it. So let's see what he thinks. Good boy. Get it, buddy. Oh, look at get that. It. You're, you can get it. you're supposed to get take it. it. Get it. Just, oh, oh, Coda's coming over. Hold on a second. Is Coda actually, oh, oh now, no. now Coop's gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, good boy, buddy, we'll give you some love. <laughs> Taking it over to the bed. Now you guys know this is pretty much what we do every single time we have a new toy. What do you think, buddy? Do you like that toy? It's meant for chewing. It's kind of a really hard plastic, huh? Oh, Coda's coming over here. I kind of feel like Coda wants to check it out. Coda, get it. No. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh. Why are we excited about that? If you want me to be honest, I felt like this was rightfully so the first one to go because I didn't think it was that exciting. I'm just gonna set this thing down and see what happens. So it's not fun if nobody else has to. <laughs> We're all just standing in a circle around the pineapple. Not really a winner in Coda's book. It gets Cooper's glowing review, but Nobody else really cared. This is a, uh, it's a bone, but it's not a real bone. Like there's no actual food here. There's nothing that they can chew off. It's just kind of like a hard rubber bone, I guess. It's supposed to be good for cleaning teeth and massaging gums. We're gonna see what we think. Look at that, Coda. You like that? You have to open your mouth a little bigger. Right yeah, you gotta, you gotta take, okay. It would help if you, take the middle. if you took it from the middle. If I hold it on the side, will you take it from the middle? He's just so polite. He doesn't what? want to Coda, take it get away it, from you. Get, get it. it. It's for you. Get it. You can have it. You can get it. I know. I know. It's <laughs> exciting, but you have to take it. Stay. Good boy. Koopy's giving it a shot. Let's see what this is all about. Looks like we're just doing spins. I'm trying to figure this thing out. We aren't really sure what it is. We're both trying to grab it from the edges instead of grabbing it like a bone. What is wrong with our dogs? Have they never seen a bone before? No. I don't, I, like I don't understand why. <laughs> Goop, it is not rocket science. It's a bone, you're a dog. You're supposed to understand this. Get it. Get it. There. Good boy, there it is. That's how we do it. Babe, he's just, He's just playing with the blankets. He's not even playing with the bone. Is he trying to bury the bone, maybe? Is his instinct kicking in? I don't know about that. Am I reading too far into this? I think he's just trying to make the bone play with him and it's not an interactive toy like that. He just doesn't know what to do. Meanwhile, we've got Coda <laughs> so playing with the same old lamb chop. He loves his lamb chop. That he's had forever by himself, not involved in the episode at all. Apparently nobody in this house knows what to do with a bone. Cooper gave it a 
fast. Okay. This is the Nerf <laughs> squeak ball. That is an aggressive squeak. It is the <laughs> cheapest one on our list. It's $5 and like 92 cents and it has just under a thousand ratings for 4.4 stars. Wow. I already know that I hate this ball. And you know who I know is going to feel the opposite? Mm -hmm. Coda, because he loves squeaky balls. He loves balls so much. He just loves playing fetch. He loves doing everything else. He just loves everything to do with balls. <laughs> Cooper's trying to steal it. He thinks Koda wants it. Koda has no interest. <laughs> Koda has no interest. Cooper, you could take it. Koda doesn't actually like balls. You ready? Get it. Good boy. Look at that. Woo! Is that going to be one of those who rolls down the stairs for his little game? Oh, probably. Coop, do you want to play your game? I think we've shown you guys this a couple times in the past, but Cooper's favorite game is to lay on the landing of the stairs here. You can throw it to him. Sometimes he'll catch it. Sometimes he'll let it hit himself in the head. But then he always picks it up and drops it back down. And sometimes Bella likes to play too. You ready, Coop? Get it. Good boy. See, we caught it. Now watch this. You just got to give it time. Let gravity do its work. Because eventually, this ball will come rolling back down. Every time. Get it. Good boy. Good catch. And watch this. Just like clockwork, eventually gravity takes over. He tries to make it look like an accident, but it, we you know, know it's not. He chews on it for a bit, and then we'll nudge it. And down the stairs it comes. We play this game every day. Toy number four is coming up. Okay. Do me a favor and close your eyes. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, oh, that like hurts my teeth. <laughs> so this is one of those squeaky chickens. I've seen plenty of viral videos about these guys. They have really, really good reviews. They're cheap. This guy actually has the most reviews out of the entire list at nearly 2,200 with a 4.4 star rating. That's hard to do on Amazon. So Koda, do you want first dibs? Cause I know Cooper's really gonna like this too. Do you want first dibs? Do you want to try it? You ready? You want to get it? Get it. Or not. Okay. The one thing I will say is I would imagine the squeaker is probably going to be squeaked out of that fairly quickly. Thankfully for us. It's that same fabric as those pigs he likes. So once a tooth goes through it, it's done. It's done so. Good boy. Get your chicken. What do you think about that? It's kind of a weird squeak. It's a reverse squeak. When you push down on it, it doesn't make noise, but when you let go and the air gets back into it is when it makes noise. <laughs> He's just squeaking it randomly. He loves it. And Coda's back with lamb chop. <laughs> he loves his lamb chop. It kind of looks like him. <laughs> Do you see his lamb chop? Wow, it's so nice. Do you like the lamb chop? You know, it's a good thing we spent all this money and all this time researching these toys to make our dogs happy <laughs> so they can use the same Gross. grungy old toy that they've had for years. <laughs> our first four and a half star rating coming up here. Yes. Look at this. So this is the rubber rugby sound dog toy. Okay. It retails for around $12. Now it has a high promise here because it says, it can make sound when squeak, attract interest in dogs, interact, and enhance love between you and pet. And if that doesn't happen, I'm going to be upset. Let's enhance the love. Let's see if it works. Those are bold claims from a $12 toy. Oh, Coop's excited. Oh, it does squeak. It's another reverse squeak. Oh, that's interesting. But it's we don't have many of those. It's more of a bearable yeah. squeak. Yeah, that's like a lower, a lower range squeak. Is it bouncy? Is it like tough? Is it durable? Oh, it's bouncy. Oh, there we go. Coop's always liked footballs. He liked the ones we got him at like the Jacksonville game and stuff yeah. like that. It's a anything that's a weird shape that kind of like plays with him when he rolls it around. Coop, are you feeling your love for Chelsea enhanced yet? I don't know that that's something I keep in my life. <laughs> pretty attached to me already. Coop, you, you buried the ball again. Why? This is like a new behavior we haven't really seen. He just loves 
burying things in his blankets. She just dug a nail into my finger for no reason. I was standing here like this. I didn't even know she was up there. Stop. <laughs> this thing's got some weight to it. I actually yeah, really like this. Right. Coop, can you can you catch it? Get it. Good boy. That wasn't an easy catch either. It's it's obviously not an English speaking made. Right. Product, it's made in China. Sense. So when I read it and I saw the box, I kind of questioned it, but she yeah. is he is parading it around. Oh, right. I would say this one's a winner. What do you think about footballs? You like these? Don't trust them. This guy is another four and a half star here. It's actually only nine dollars, which is pretty good. One of the cheaper toys that we have in this bunch, and uh, it's called the Busy Bounce. It kind of looks like a Kong. So this fits in with the last episode. It looks like you do have holes and it's hollow inside so you can put like peanut butter and stuff in there. But obviously it's got a much weirder shape and a much less predictable bounce. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, oh, first bounce, are you kidding? Koda actually got kind of excited. Coda got kind of excited. Coop, you didn't even let it go. You're supposed to let it bounce and roll and then you chase it. Get it. Good boy. Oh, look at that thing go. It's just you now, Coda. You want to give it a try? You want to give it a try? Oh, look at this. Are you excited? Do you want to give it a sniff? Oh, let's keep it new and exciting though. You ready? Go get it. What was up with that delayed reaction? You want to get it? You want to get it? You want to get it? Get it. Go get it. Wow, look at the agility. <laughs> he runs like a horse. He's like a runaway freight train. If you don't get out of the way, he's running you over. He doesn't have the prowess to be able to move. Once he's going in one direction, he's not stopping. And now he's trying to combine the toy with Lammy. All right, dude. We're getting some tail wags for this one. What is this? We have a ball on a rope. Oh. It's a ball for tug of war. So we have one who likes balls and one who likes tugs. Neither one likes both. It should be interesting. <laughs> it kind of smells like vanilla. It retails at 15 bucks. Uh, it has four and a half stars and about 1,200 reviews. So, so that's pretty that's good. Pretty good. Plus it's like a name brand thing too. Yeah, like Chuck It, you see a lot of those. Brand is super popular. So. It's meant for tug of war. Do I offer it to him or do I throw it and hope he brings it back? Uh, How do I present? I mean, you can try offering, but I'm going to make a bet that he won't take it. Get it. He, he's a no, no take only throw kind of dog. Get it. Nope. Get it. Go! Oh! oh <laughs> you tease him enough. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's not going to like that. We're actually playing tug of war. Get it, Coop. Get it. Coop, get it. Get it, good boy. Get it. This is like oh, there's not enough rope. There's the not more enough rope. this is like the more intense version of the suction cup thing that we did for this Super Cooper channel. I mean, this this is fun. Looks I like he's. I will say the the rope is like nylon, super durable. So I appreciate that. So you're not getting like little rope pieces all over the floor. I feel like he's getting awfully close to your hand he though. Has really crazy eyes right now. Cody, do you want to try it? You like tug of war. You like it with more traditional ropes, though. You don't. You don't really like. You don't really like balls. He doesn't want the ball, so why get would he fight you? Get it. Get it. Get it. No, get it. Get it. Get it. Oh no. <laughs> Moving on, we've got a llama that packs a punch. Yes. So this llama retails for eight fifty. It is in our top three, and it is actually not only the cheapest out of the top three, but one of the cheapest out of all the ones we've seen today. It has a 4.6 star rating. Whew. I know. And what's interesting is it looks like there's a lot of toys from this line, but this was the one. This was the one. That had the top ratings. So. And every, all the reviews say about how all their dogs carry it around and love it so much and everything else. I so. think it looks a lot like 
lamb chop? Yes. So I think we're gonna offer it to the big softy first. Should we put Coop away? Coop, come here. Give Coda a moment. Come on, Coop, come here. I would never say something bad to his face, but Cooper's not good at sharing. No, he's... He's very self-centered. You would think he's an only child the way he behaves. Look at this new llama. It's That's big nice. and white like you. That's nice. And soft and fluffy and it has he's a big heart. Swaggy. Good boy. You gonna take it? It even has a squeaker. It's somewhere. like in the front legs there. <laughs> Your favorite. He's getting excited. This is literally. There you go. Like a, a carbon copy of lamb chop, just in a different form. You are just such a big softy, dude. Second to last. Are we ready, Coop? Who doesn't like a rubber donut? Ultra durable rubber donut with a lifetime guarantee. This is supposed to be for the world's heaviest chewers. I wouldn't say we really have heavy chewers. We're not even really chewers. Sometimes yeah. Out of thing. We, yeah, we like to like methodically, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? What are you doing like science class? Dissect. Dissect. We like to dissect sometimes, but we don't, we don't really choose. So we'll see how this goes. Go get it. Good boy. Look at that. It's also worth noting this thing is 20 bucks, which is kind of crazy. Is it squeaky or is it like... It's, not, it's like solid rubber. I mean, it, it's in a disc shape, which he likes frisbees and circles and stuff like that. So maybe, I mean, this is, this is so unlike anything we've ever had. So we'll have to give you guys an update on this, but it does look like there's quite a bit of excitement off the bat here. What do you think about it, Coda? Do you like it? No? He just wants his llama. Or when we're barking too much, we can just do this. No more barking, <laughs> Drum roll, please. So now we have the final toy, the highest rated toy. This comes in at $25. It's got nearly 1,400 ratings at a 4.6. It used to be a 4.7 star, but it just went down to a 4.6. So this is a big daddy. A lot of people have bought it. It's fairly expensive, but a lot of people really, really like it. And it's actually a twist on something we already have in the house. This right here is a cat feather like fishing rod toy. These are cats absolute favorite toys like all cats love these things. It simulates prey and they'll chase it around and they just they love to jump at it and stuff like that. As it turns out our golden retriever also likes cat fishing toys. Obviously this is not made for a golden retriever. If he bites it he gets it all nasty, he ruins it, and he can break it really easily. So this is the dog version. Let us see here. Look at that, Coop. You're supposed to you're supposed to get it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh wow. Oh. Oh wow. We really like this. Coda, are you seeing this? Coda, you don't want it? <laughs> I feel like a dog catcher. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Nobody wants anything to... <laughs> oh my goodness. We gotta take this out front. We gotta, we gotta get him some traction. He's gonna like slip a disc or something. He's, he's gonna break his leg. <laughs> okay, we'll go, yeah. So you can also use this as a leash to walk your dog. <laughs> I'm not even actively doing anything. I'm just standing as a goalpost here. What in the world is happening? You have to let go of it. We play together. <laughs> I would also like to play. <laughs> oh, we got it. Dang it. Oh. oh my gosh, he's flying. <laughs> Looks like you caught yourself a big fish there, huh? What? You're really a, a really good fish fisherwoman. Thanks. Oh, like fish he loves it so much. I didn't expect him to like it this much. Look how nice this is. Just two brothers holding paws. Good boys. So I think we have a good idea of what the favorites are for each of them today. But let's see if they solidify that with a choice. 
You guys can see we have them randomly set up, randomly aligned here. I also included lamb chop. So we're gonna see if an old favorite works. <laughs> yes, it has. Chelsea's gonna hold the pull thing. She's not gonna move it, but she's gonna hold it as if it was like an available option. So, all right, boys, pick one, get it. And that didn't surprise me. Coda's, yeah, Coda's freaked out. Coda didn't even pick anything. Pick something, Coda. Good boy. You gotta get something. Get something, pick it. Get it. Get it, Coda. Get it. Coda, get it. Yeah. There we go. He's gonna dislocate something. This needs to be on, on just like a permanent pole. He's gonna, yeah. We need, like it's tetherball. Ball. Let's just put a tetherball pole in the backyard and just put a little felt thing on it. That's all this is. And he is just gonna absolutely love it. Oh we're my goodness. At this point, we're not actively playing together. No, that's, he's playing. He's having a great time. So anyway, there you guys have it. The top 10 toys on Amazon reviewed here. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know if you guys have any of these at home. And we are gonna see you guys in next week's episode. Be sure to subscribe to the Super Cooper channel. It's top link down in the description. There's also gonna be a form down there if you guys wanna submit ideas for Super Cooper, feel free to do that. And uh, we'll see you guys later. I'm thinking at some point we're gonna to have to try the top 10 worst dog toys, worst reviewed. Let us know what you guys think. Peace out.